Welcome back, story friends. Today's story is Samson the Mighty Flea. Samson was the big star of Fleabag Circus. He could lift a match, he could lift a pea, he could lift the lovely Amelie. Would you believe he could lift all three? I'm a big star, said Samson, the mighty flea. Hooray, hooray, cheered the crowd. But Samson wasn't happy. Though he boasted, full of pride, he had an empty place inside. I need more people to amaze, he told Amelie. It's time to show the world how strong I am. Fleabag Circus just isn't big enough for me. Amelie packed Samson's suitcase. No one saw that she tucked in something small. No one saw her tiny teardrop fall. Samson said goodbye to Fleabag Circus. So long, my friends. I'm going to be the biggest star in the world. And off he went. The world was much, much, much bigger than Fleabag Circus. Samson put up his sign and started performing amazing feats of strength. He lifted a button. He lifted a stick. He lifted a stick more than twice as thick. But nobody noticed his thick stick trick. But Samson didn't give up. He trained day and night. He made his act more difficult, more daring, more stop and staring. Nobody will notice a flea with a pea, said a beetle. Go back where you belong, said a bug. But Samson was sure he wouldn't be happy until he was the biggest star in the world. Circus of Dreams, starring the mighty Mustachio. As he packed up his act, he spotted his chance. The Circus of Dreams. That's the place to find a huge audience, he thought. So off he went. Samson climbed high where everyone could see him. He showed off his mighty muscles and super strength. It was the most awesome performance of his life. Then he took a bow. Hooray for the world's biggest star. Three cheers. Hip hip hooray. I'm the biggest star, they're clapping for me, thought Samson the mighty flea. But something was wrong. Although he was almost bursting with pride, he still had an empty feeling inside. Cheer up, said a fly. It's always lonely at the top. Suddenly he missed his old friends. The world seemed very, very far from Fleabag Circus. He left his match. He left his pee. He left his sign for no one to see and crept off to hide as sad as could be. Whoops! Samson's hiding place started to bounce and shake. Hold on tight, chuckled an old flea. Life's a bumpy journey. Samson held on tight, but the pre hidden present flew out of his suitcase, a hanky stitched with love. Then he heard a familiar voice. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you the world's strongest flea, lovely Amelie. Samson crept clo closer. Could it be? Amelie, who's Amelie? Trying to lift a pea? She swayed, she wobbled, the crowd jeered. Boo! <laughs> you can do it, cried Samson. He, w he saw it was true. Boo! <laughs> she didn't give up. She raised her brave chin. She lifted her arms, so small, so thin. One, two, three. She did it! Hooray! cheered the crowd. Samson gazed so proud, so amazed, so amazed he felt dizzy and dazed. He forgot about being big or small. He forgot about himself at all. Amelie lift filled him with happiness. 
Welcome home, Samson, said his old friends. Are you the biggest star in the world? Samson smiled. Fleabag Circus is the world for me, he said. And its biggest star shines here for all to see. The bravest, strongliest, loveliest, Amelie!